for the past weeks I've tried to steal the big editing secret of Mr. Beast. So I've infiltrated his production to spy on the editors and grow my own channel just as big as his. But I need to be careful because if I get caught they will use me as a crash dummy. But I'm smart, they will never catch me. So where does he get his subtitles from? Oh here it is, the text window. Oh no they're on to me! Oof, we made it into Premiere. Open up the text panel and go to transcript. Here we can automatically generate subtitles from the audio. Click on transcribe sequence. This will pop up this window. Select the speaker language and if you want to separate the speakers you can do that here. Now if you want to transcribe a specific audio track you can choose one from the list. If mix is selected Premiere will analyze all the audio. <coughs> Click transcribe and let Premiere do its thing. Premiere does a really good job at transcribing but there's always a small mistake somewhere. So double click on the text in the captions tab and correct it if needed. Nice! Now open up the menu on the top right and click create cla claptions. captions. <laughs> These settings are super important. Expand the preferences and go to maximum length. We only want two or maximum three words at the same time instead of a long subtitle. To do that, set the characters to something around 10. And this is the most important one. Set the lines to single, otherwise you'll see two words underneath each other. Next click create captions. I wish you could just buy a new card because this is a piece of junk. So now we've got the subtitles but they don't look like Mr. Beast's videos just yet. So let me spy a little bit more to find his secret font. Ah, here it is. I gotta move fast because he sent his crew to catch me. We have to install the font quickly. Now pay attention though because you can only use this font for personal stuff. I bet Mr. Beast paid some good money for that. Money that I don't have. So I did find another one on Adobe Fonts which has the same look and feel and you can use it for commercial purposes like monetize your videos. It's called CC Sign Language. After the installation, select all the subtitle clips in the timeline. Then go to the Essential Graphics panel and select the font that you to use. Also click the all caps option that way the text looks best. And now the font and the adjustments will be applied to all the subtitle clips. Now with the side slider make the text bigger. Next head over to the appearance tab and enable stroke and set the color to black. Increase the thickness until you like it and that already looks awesome. Now to make it look even better click the fill color. From the menu on the top left choose linear gradient. Choose two colors one on the left and one on the right. The text is looking good but this is something that we don't want to do all over again with every video that we make. So I have a cool trick up my sleeve somewhere right here that will show you how to apply this style with just one click of a button. But first I want to show you guys something else. On Storyblocks, the sponsor of today's video, you can find thousands of Premiere Pro text templates. You only have to click the download button and boom you can find it within the templates in the Essential Graphics panel. Now with the Storyblocks plugin for Premiere Pro, you can also download an unlimited selection of professional assets which you can use to spice up your videos. This is super time efficient because there's no need to go outside Premiere anymore. If you need footage of balloons for example, just type it in and you can download it right away. You will find the right music for your videos in no time because you can use filters like moods, jars, instruments, vocal, tempo, duration and more. Images, vectors, animated backgrounds or specific stock clips, they are all available in HD or 4K resolution. But what about licensing? Don't you have to worry about copyright? Well absolutely not. Storyblocks makes sure that you don't even have to think about that. Finally there's Storyblocks make which is an online video editor to edit your own footage with or you can just use the stock assets from Storyblocks itself. Find whatever you need and drag it in the timeline. There's absolutely no experience required to use this editor because it is super easy to use. And with the smart resize feature you can create content for every social media platform. So get started now with Storyblocks and take back your creative control by clicking the first link in the description down below or just go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics. And now let's continue hunting for some subtitles. Now where is that trick in my sleep? Oh there it is. Now to save the style that we just created before, go to styles and click create style. Give it a name and the next time that you create captions you can select this style again with one click. Now these captions are flying everywhere. I wish there was a way to animate them just like Mr. Beast. Sadly Premiere doesn't allow me to do that with captions. Crap they got me. Please no I don't want to be a crash dummy. Now they might have caught me but I overheard something else. Premiere does allow us to transform captions into graphics. To do that, select all the subtitles in the timeline and go to the graphics and titles menu on top. Choose upgrade caption to graphic. And now you can do whatever you want with them. For example, a zoom animation. Find the transform effect and drag it above the text layer and the effects controls. It will become clear in a second why we use this effect. First, select the anchor point and 
and align the two crosses in the middle of the text. Then grab the text and align both crosses with each other. So that way the text is back at the bottom. We're doing that because we want to zoom in to right here. Go to the beginning of the clip and set the scale to zero. Then move three to four frames forward and set the scale to 100. Now we want this animation to be smooth and to do that, right click the second keyframe and choose ease in. Now the reason why we use the transform effect is because we can introduce motion blur with that. Go to shutter angle and set it to 180 degrees. Isn't that looking beautiful now? Now I found a few more text animations that you want to know about. Find the directional blur effect and drag it onto the text layer. In the effects control, set the direction to 90 degrees. Move to the first frame of the clip and set the blur length to 1000. Then set a keyframe. Move three frames forward and set it to zero. Now leave the playhead where it is and go to opacity. Then set a keyframe and move the playhead back to the beginning. Set the opacity to zero. And now the animation looks like this. Now you can make this look even better if you download our free earthquake pack and just drag that preset onto the clip. You definitely want to check that out. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. And you can also save your own animations by simply right clicking the effect and choose to save it as a preset. I wish you could just buy a new car because this is a piece of junk, but I don't have any money. Oh yeah, I've got a big problem guys. There's a train coming my way. Ah! Oh, Premiere crashed. Phew. I'm coming for you, Jimmy! I will be bigger and better than you! Oh, and by the way, these subtitles mean nothing if you don't know how to make transitions like Premiere Beast, so check the video here on the left, guys, and as always, stay creative!